I don't even know how to explain what it is that I do here. Um, you know, basically I've got black and white, contrast, and lots of texture. And in that texture, I can see different things that are familiar to me, yet odd at the same time. And so what I'll do is I'll just kind of keep my mind open to the possibilities of what it is that I might see. And then if I see something that's somewhat familiar, uh, I will work on it a little bit and try to make it more like how my mind sees it. I am on my way to Jerry's Artorama. I'm gonna pick up some canvas, some stretcher bars, some paint. And I've just decided uh, I need to do something to keep moving on the painting front because uh, it's so easy for us as artists to kind of fall inward and not get work done. And I think during this time, really this is probably the best time to do our best work. We have time on our hands, we have anxieties, we have issues going on with the whole coronavirus scenario. And uh, I just think that I'm just gonna dive in and just keep moving, keep pumping out work. As small business owners, the odds are in so many ways stacked against us right now. We've played our cards in the hand we've been dealt as well as we can, and enough has come through that we're actually starting to get excited about the future and the country opening back up. Good morning, everybody. I am putting acrylic on this canvas. It is a giant piece. It is 84 by 120, and uh, I'm gonna put this on as thick as I possibly can so that it creates a beautiful texture throughout. It's gonna take me a very long time just to get the acrylic on, and then of course we'll cover it up with oil shortly uh, as well, and it will become an oil on canvas when all is said and done. Songwriting has definitely become one of the ways I deal with all of these emotions we're going through. Draw the lights and curves and then I paint her body red I'm alone with just my thoughts and love her lying back in bed As an artist, I think you learn to live with uncertainty through your entire career. Tomorrow is not a given. It's not a guarantee. You're only as good as your last project and Sometimes your heart is taking you in a direction that is completely foreign to you. It's not as life by me, yeah, to me, it's not a game. You can't see what these paintings are worth, well, I tell you that's a shame. It's a lonely life sometimes when I'm down to my last dime. Putting every dollar back into my work Trying to keep the dream alive Some say I'm out of my mind Trying to keep the dream alive Along the way I've been learning that uncertainty is one of the driving forces that keeps you pushing boundaries of what you think you may be capable of as an individual. In a way, we have to be thankful for uncertainty because although there's pain in it, it's also what forces us to look for new opportunities and to continue to evolve creatively. I've started an exceptionally large piece. It's an 84 by 120. Mixing up some black oil here with a little bit of wax. And now I'm gonna just start being random about how I apply all of this. I really don't have any idea what it is that I'm going to paint at the moment. And that's okay. Because what I've learned is not to wait for inspiration to find me, not to wait to understand fully what it is that I'm going to paint. 
or what I'm going to create with a guitar or what vocals I'm going to write. It's improvisation. It's, that's a big piece of what creativity is all about. Being in the moment, being fully in the moment. And the same holds true photographically as well. Studying all these different genres has really allowed me to open my mind up to a different world and a different way of seeing. My hands are dirty, the paint fumes cloud in my brain. Kind of give my heart and then I proudly sign my name. I'm a little older now, but I get better here with age. I never sell out, no, why would I give it all away? So I happen to really love texture in paintings, especially when they're abstract. And so uh, one of the things that I do once I get a layer uh, and base coat of oil on, and that's a mix of oil and wax, is I'll take just the back of a brush and I will just literally scrape the entire painting over and over. And I'll do this pretty much for days after each time I put down a layer of paint. And what that does is it builds up something for the paint to stick to, um, especially because I use a lot of um, artist paint sticks, which are basically tube oil with a lot of wax in them so they become kind of like a crayon, only it is oil paint. But as I paint with it, this texture will help the paint to stick to it and it will also kind of define different elements, bring different things forward that my eyes might not otherwise see. Now, sometimes I succeed and other times I fail, uh, but in the end, that's what kind of drives these pieces that I'm creating. This mysterious thing that kind of shows up uh, out of nowhere. I, I relate it to like looking for ghosts, right? Looking for um, something that could be beautiful, something that could be scary, something that could be just out of this world odd. So yes, the times are uncertain, but the best thing that we can do as artists is to keep moving forward, to keep creating our own inspiration by taking action in the direction of our dreams. Go behind the scenes via our vlog, but also learn from us via tech talks, tutorials, and reviews from the perspective of two full-time artists.